What up, YouTube? Got a final here on the small scale group build. I made it before the end of the month. I'm shocked. Um. Anyway, uh, did the 1956 Ravel white Fruhoff gas truck? Uh, couple things on this kit. They uh, doesn't come with glass. And I'll show you why I didn't put any glass in it as soon as we move this box. Um, was going to do a, did some, did some uh, mold uh, patching uh, where the molds uh, made a dimple on the side of the tank. And then found a couple more on the bottom half of the tank. So I said, screw it. So I wasn't going for a nice paint job. I was just going for a used tanker. Uh I did happen to find some uh, mobile gas uh, decals on uh, eBay, or no, I'm sorry, Amazon for like three bucks, uh, free shipping. So I uh, got them coming. I did not get them yet. They are supposed to be in, uh, saying they were supposed to be in today, but uh, now I think they're saying Monday. So we will uh, not do the decals until they get in. But we're gonna do a final. Here's the uh, here's what I did. I went with uh, sorry. I got a I got the bike on the bench here too, so I'm don't want to move anything or lose anything. We did the uh, X13 metallic blue. I love this color. Uh, did not fire it up through the airbrush because my needles bent again. I don't know. I don't get it. But uh, we just brush painted it. If you could see, we have a couple marks right there. So we just went with a, uh, we're going to weather it up. I'm just not sure what I'm going to weather it with. I got some MIG uh, weathering powders I'm going to try. I haven't tried yet. Um, and uh, I would be careful here. I'm not going to pick this thing up. But uh got the little engine in there. Which you could see, the radiator is... On the bench here, I just got to pot that in, but I did not want to try to do it and then do the video or try to damage it any. So I'll get that in after. But, uh, good kit. It, uh, goes together fairly well. It's, that's the underside there. And then the doors open up here. Got a fire extinguisher. And the valves inside the how come it always opens fine when you're oh oh what's that what's that oh one of the valves has got mac green on it oh boy all right anyways uh yeah it, it's for for its size 140 148 scale it's not bad but uh the uh, dashboard is in there. I don't know if you can see it. The dashboard is right up against the bottom of the windshield. So I tried to cut some uh, plastic, and it kept popping out. It would pop out on this side. So I just left it. I just left it without any glass. The, the, even the new kit, that one there, doesn't come with glass. Um, so we just did a... Uh, a work truck basically did uh the engine is underneath there i did weather up the engine a little bit uh it also shows see if i can do this without breaking on a mirror um the front axle here they want you to put the motor in from the bottom side glue this glue this down uh, the muffler down to the pin there um yeah i snapped the exhaust uh, doing that and then they have you take the axle has the cradle for I don't know if you can see that or not but it has the cradle for the engine so your best bet is to put the cradle in and you could go from the top instead of the bottom of the frame and then glue that uh, that was really the only issue with the kit was the way they had you mount the uh, motor in there 
But she's done. Sean and uh, Brian, great group build. You guys got a great turnout on it, and it's awesome. Uh, I got a couple more small-scale kits, so I'll have to see what I come up with for uh, next year, if you guys do it next year. So, all right. Have a good one. I am working on the... I'm working on the... Uh, Helicopter group build for uh, Hobby Link International. We're doing the UH-60A Blackhawk. Um, started on that last night. And uh, we'll uh, be working on that the rest of the weekend. You guys have a good uh, Sunday, and we'll see you all later. I'm out.